Hello, and thank you so much for coming to my channel. Today, I have a special video for you because I think of you as family. I think of you as friends, and I'm going to tell you the skincare that I recommend to my family and to my friends. So this is definitely people that are not super, super into skincare and don't want to go through a ton of steps, but still want really, really great product. And I'm going to bring you through what I recommend. One item that a lot of people think they don't need is sunscreen, and you definitely need sunscreen. I personally like to use something like the Aveeno sunscreens just because they don't irritate my eyes and they're a really great price. They do sometimes leave a little bit of a white cast, especially the mineral ones, but I still think it is the best, especially if you're gonna wear makeup and cover it up anyways, it doesn't really matter. But I think those are the best at the drugstore for sensitive skin and sensitive eyes. If you're not worried about things burning your eyes, you can use something else like the CeraVe or the Neutrogena. Those all burn my eyes though, and the only one at the drugstore I have ever found that doesn't, again, is the Aveeno. You can get all different levels of SPF, so they have 30, they have 60, they have 50, so it's nice that you can choose. I personally have a 30 and a 60 SPF that I use, and it's hydrating as well, so if you wanted to skip moisturizer and you were not having a particularly dry day, you could. I don't, but you could. It's just a really nice, affordable, SPF that's good for sensitive skin and won't irritate. Now, if you wanna go on the high end of things, I do really, really like the Super Goop formula. I mean, everyone does, right? It's kind of like, I mean, it depends on which one you get, but the one that I like, which is the matte one, is almost like a primer. It's so lightweight, it's not greasy, it doesn't smell like sunblock, and it does not burn your eyes. Now, I just brought my mom to Sephora recently, and I said, do you like to be glowy or do you like to be matte? She said glowy, so I got her the glow screen, which is also really, really beautiful. It just adds this nice, like, glittery sheen to your face, almost similar to the Illuminating Primer from e.l.f. It just is a very natural glow and that one is also really really nice and under makeup no white cast with any of the super goop formulas that i've personally ever experienced but the price tag is pretty hefty so especially with something that you should be using every day if you want to spend the money great if not i say go with the aveeno but whenever i can get super goop on sale or at a discount i do because it's pricey but it's really really good i really do think it's the best on the market as far as american skincare goes. Let's go on to another item that people might not think is necessary or they might use it in a different form. So I always, always recommend a liquid exfoliator. Right now, my favorite is Paula's Choice. Surprise, surprise not surprised. Uh, that's like everyone's favorite. It's just really nice and gentle, but you can still see a difference. It makes your skin smoother. It makes your blackheads less bad. I wouldn't say it cures it or anything, but they're not as bad if you use a liquid exfoliator like the Polish Choice one. And it's much better for your skin and does a better job than a physical exfoliant. I love a physical exfoliant. I like the way it feels on my face. However, a lot of them can be really, really bad for your skin and I feel like a toner is just a really great in-between. It's not too gentle, it's not too rough. It also kind of acts as a toner and a cleanser and especially for things like anti-aging, blackheads, sebaceous filaments, a chemical exfoliant specifically in a toner can be really great to mitigate all of those issues. And straight up chemical exfoliants like serums and that mask from The Ordinary, I don't recommend that because A, you can burn your face, you can burn something and create a scar or create irritation or whatever it may be. I have never used a toner, an exfoliating toner that has caused an issue just because they're much more gentle. So that's what I recommend. You can start off slow. So if it's too much for you, you can kind of give your skin a chance to regroup and calm down and use it every other day. But once you get used to it, I use my exfoliating toner every single day. And it's also a little bit of a two-in-one product, as I was saying, because you can also clean your face. I mean, I'd still recommend going in with a cleanser, but it does clear some of the dirt and sweat and whatever else is on your face off. And I have a very, very dry nose, but I also get a lot of blackheads on my nose. It's strange. It's like not oily, but I get a lot of blackheads. And I'm constantly struggling when I put on makeup, when I pretty much do anything, I always have a problem with my nose. 
peeling all the time with makeup. It just looks bad. And when I use an exfoliating toner, I really feel like it makes a difference. Speaking though of skincare, I don't recommend really quickly. So I mentioned that I have really dry skin, especially on my nose. I do find that a hyaluronic acid serum can help make your skin not so dry and really attract the moisture to your face, but I don't recommend them per se. I find that hyaluronic acid serums can really, really clog the pores. I have heard that there's this powder hyaluronic acid that you can get on Amazon or at beauty stores. And that not only is a lot cheaper, but it also will not clog your pores. So I'm definitely gonna have to try that out one day. But as far as HA serums, I'm on the fence. Like I have a bunch, I try them out. Some of them I like putting other places on my face and sometimes I just need them like around my lips and my nose and I'm like, I don't even care about the blackheads, I just need it. But until I find something better, I'll keep using it. But if you don't have particularly dry skin, I wouldn't use it. Just because I've heard more times than not, it clogs pores and it definitely clogs mine. Now, some are better than others. Some don't clog your pores as much as other brands, but in some capacity, every single hyaluronic acid I've ever used does clog the pores at least a little bit. Now, moving on to face wash. There is one face wash I recommend, and that is the Hydrating CeraVe Foaming Face Wash. This is hydrating, even if you don't have dry skin, it's still a really nice foaming cleanser and it doesn't strip your skin of oils. You don't feel like you get out of the shower and you immediately need to slather lotion all over your face because it really does not dry you out but it also removes makeup, it removes all of the dirt. It's one of the only face washes I've noticed that if I have a full face of makeup on and I use an oil and then I go in with that face wash, it will actually remove the rest of the makeup. But it doesn't irritate my eyes. I can go over my eyes with it. I can really do anything. It does not irritate. It foams. That's a big thing for me. I love things that lather and I know that higher end items sometimes don't lather and that's fine and they still work great but I just like it to lather. So this does lather. CeraVe is higher priced at the drugstore but is 110% worth it. It's not bad, you can definitely get coupons, but again, it's just like the gentlest of the gentle options. Even if you don't have sensitive skin, I still recommend it. Even if you don't have dry skin, I still recommend it. It is a fantastic face wash and it's humongous, so it'll last you a really long time. For face lotion, this one is definitely pricey, but I have been loving it recently. It is the Honey Halo from Pharmacy. I love this thing. First of all, it has a really unique scent that skincare that I've smelled at least before does not have. So I really like it, but it's so light that it doesn't irritate my skin. I can even put it under my eyes and I don't have a problem. And like almost every lotion burns my eyes. That does not. I really, really like it. It feels really thick and creamy and luxurious. Definitely recommend it more so for night if you don't have dry skin, but I do have dry skin, so I use it in the morning and at night, and it definitely hydrates the skin really well. Pharmacy does have really good sales on their website directly, not necessarily on Sephora or anything, but on their website directly, they do have really good sales. So I would recommend checking it out there because you can get 15, 20, 25% off pretty regularly. So if you're interested, I would say sign up for those email notifications and they'll notify you when there's sales going on, but I definitely really, really like that face lotion. And yes, it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. Now, if you're looking to save some money and you don't want to spend that much on a face lotion, one that I do recommend is anything from Cetaphil. The one with SPF does bother my eyes, so I don't like to use that one and it smells heavily of sunscreen, but their regular face lotions, the night lotion, Really anything from Cetaphil, I really, really like. Even the regular body lotion, you can use that on your face because it's so gentle. I think those are really great options. They're great for sensitive skin. They don't have any scent to them. And overall, it is just a great drugstore option. I think it's better than Neutrogena. I think it's better than CeraVe. I actually have a lot of CeraVe lotions and I don't like any of them. They break me out really bad for some reason. I don't know why. As far as lotion goes, if you're looking to save a little bit there, I definitely recommend literally almost anything from Cetaphil. If you're looking for lip care, this is the only thing you need. 
ever. <laughs> this is the Blistax Lip Med X, and I recommend it on my channel all the time because I feel like it's the only thing that actually heals my lips. This is medicated, and if I have dry lips, whether they're peeling or cracked or whatever, this heals it up literally overnight. This is the best thing ever. Sometimes you can even find them at the dollar store. They're not expensive and I'd much rather have something like this than like a $20 Laneige lip sleeping mask because this is actually gonna do something. A lot of those lip masks out there, they're pretty, they add a nice gloss, but they don't really do anything. Again, this is the only lip balm that actually makes a difference that I can actually feel and see. Let's go on to removing makeup. So a lot of people think that they can use a toner or they can just go in with a wipe quickly and remove their makeup. That's not true. It's not gonna remove all the makeup, especially eye makeup when it's like this and a lot and crazy. The only thing I have ever found to thoroughly, thoroughly take off my makeup has been the Clinique Cleansing Balm. It's expensive, it's not cheap, but everything else I've tried from balms to makeup removers to oils, it does not work as well as that one product does. Now, I do sometimes just use coconut oil and it works just as well, but coconut oil, some people have allergies to it, some people it irritates their skin, some people it clogs their pores, so I don't really wanna recommend that everyone go try coconut oil until you know if it's okay on your skin or not. For me, it's fine on my skin as long as I don't leave it on for a long time, and I feel like that does really remove my makeup just as well as the Clinique Cleansing Balm, but again, I'm not gonna start recommending people take off their makeup with coconut oil. I'm going to continue to, but I wouldn't recommend it necessarily unless you know your skin type, how it reacts on your skin, and you feel like you have a good grasp on that. But but anyways, if you're looking for an actual product, the cleansing balm from Clinique is absolutely the best option. There is no better option that I've ever tried, that I've ever heard of. Again, it kind of sucks that it's so expensive, but I did see it's currently on sale at Nordstrom Rack, and you can always find some type of discount, whether it be Ulta, you can do the Sephora VIB sale, which is not called the VIB sale anymore. I don't know, but you can go on the Clinique website. There's always some way to at least get like 10, 15% off before you buy it. Definitely be on the lookout and try to find a deal because you probably can, especially if you like maybe wait a month or something, a sale will inevitably come. I do also want to give you some things that I absolutely don't recommend and I think are a big waste of money. A, the Laneige lip sleeping masks. I like the way it looks on my lips. It's not that I don't recommend them necessarily, but I don't recommend it for hydration. I more so recommend it for a nice soft pink flush on your lips. But as far as hydration goes, it, it doesn't really do anything. So I don't recommend it for that. And I don't think you need to spend 20 plus dollars on it. They're always on sale at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, so just go there. Another brand that I think is seriously overhyped is Sol de Janeiro. I think that their products smell really great, but they don't hydrate. And I've tried almost everything. <laughs> tried the lip balm, the face cream, the hand cream, the body cream, the hair mask, the fragrance, everything. I've tried a lot of products. And while I think the scent is amazing, I don't think it really hydrates. So in that case, I'd rather just go get the body spray and call it a day because that's one product it's really for the fragrance, not so much for the actual hydration. You can spray it whenever you want and smell that way. You don't need to put on all the lotions and the creams and the everything to get that scent. I actually have the Brazilian Crush body fragrance here. I'm gonna put some on. Yeah, it, def it smells nice. And the scent from the lotions and things they do last a long time. Like I'll put on the lotion and I'll put on a shirt and like five days later, that shirt still smells like that lotion. But it's really expensive to not actually hydrate. I'd rather just go get an eight to $10 moisturizer at the drugstore and then again, use a body spray. Here's a Laneige lip sleeping mask. This is the original one. And I'm gonna show you, it definitely is nice on the lips. It adds a nice shine and a nice, just light natural pink color. But again, for the price and saying that it's ultra hydrating, I just don't agree. I don't necessarily regret buying it because I do like the way it looks on my lips. In my opinion, it's much more of a beauty product than a hydration skincare product. And if you've been on my channel before, 
you know, I really think every single item I've ever tried from Glow Recipe is overhyped. I'm not gonna go too much into it because I have other videos talking about it. I will link them up here, but anything Glow Recipe to me is really just about the packaging and the scent. I don't really like it. As far as body wash goes, I have super dry skin, as I was saying, and a lot of the time I can get itchy when I get out of the shower because of the hot water, and especially in the winter, I can get particularly dry. I highly recommend the Aveeno body wash. I use the moisturizing one. You don't have to use the moisturizing one, but it is such a good staple body wash. It doesn't irritate the skin. I have it in my shower at all times. Even when I go away, I fill up a little travel bottle and bring it with me. I can't I can't take a shower without it. It is hands down the best body wash, drugstore or high end. That is it for me today. I just wanted to bring you through all of the skincare I recommend to my friends and my family. The best and highest quality of everything that I personally think, if I had to pick the best in each category for my skincare routine, those are the products that I recommend. Now I'm always testing different things, so that's not necessarily what I'm using right now, but in any case, those products for me, you can't get any better. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe, please like this video, please comment down below. You know the drill, just press all the happy buttons on the page. I also wanna remind you, I am having a giveaway. It is open until May 21st. I will link that video here and I will also link it in the description box down below. So go watch that video to find out how you can win a bunch of skincare, makeup, nail care, an eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bay. Go check it out so you can win. Thank you again, and I will see you in my next video.